your normal escape room, there's not a lot of stakes because you were like, okay, well, we, you know, if we don't get out, we don't get out. Here, you get that, you know, there's a, some interesting things that happen right at the beginning of the experience that create a little more adrenaline than most escape rooms. Warning, incapacitation sequence engaged. 45 minutes until gas is emitted. You come into this with, with adrenaline pumping and then you're told that you've been kidnapped and you're gonna die if you don't get out. And you can't fully turn the part of your brain off that you need to ignore that. So I think it just brings a little more stakes to our game. I, I mean, it's interesting because you see groups of friends and coworkers and you see how they interact with each other. It's five, right? Five. Five, W. And some really interesting, like, relationship flaws show themselves really quickly sometimes and sometimes you see how beautifully people work together. No, it's not. Okay. All caps, all caps. So there is a lot of psychology to be found within this experience. Truthfully, this is one of the only things you can do with your friends at 11 p.m., you know, in a group setting, besides going to get drunk, and that isn't necessarily what everybody wants to do. People are desperately looking for a new form of entertainment that, you know, uh, satisfies that adrenaline rush that people are looking for without it being jumping out of the plane, you know what I mean? It's not as crazy as that, but it's also pretty neat. It's not at all a haunted house. A lot of people do definitely think, they see the, the marketing and they think it's, people are going to be jumping out at them and it's a bunch of teenagers in makeup saying boo, it's not that whatsoever. It's a much more refined and uh, theatrical, interactive experience. I hope so. <laughs> 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 <laughs>